Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to populate an array um, like we did before up here. Well, this time after we populate it, we're going to loop through the array and use what's called the uBound function to loop through the array and print the array back to the worksheet. So let's write another subroutine in this arrays module here. And I'm going to call this subroutine static array populate loop, populate and loop. And what I want to do is sort of use this same array up here, names. This time I'm going to populate it with some names. So instead of populating with the word hi, I'm actually going to populate it with some names. Like name zero is going to be equal to Bob. And names one is going to be equal to Mary. And names two is going to be equal to George. So remember, when you declare an array, the number you put in parentheses is the upper bound, which is going to be the highest index in the array. And because indexes, the indices start at zero, because I, I'm not putting option base one at the top, by default in VBA, all arrays have indexes, have an index that starts at zero. That means this array can hold three things. And what kind of things can it hold? It can hold string variables. So here I just populated the array with three string, uh, three strings. And if I step through this right now, you can see down here in the locals window that names, it's not, it doesn't have, it doesn't have any of these strings in the array. But once I step through this, and I execute that line, Bob goes into the array, and it goes into the array at index zero, and then Mary goes into the array at index one, and then. George goes into the array at index 2. So now, in memory, on your computer's memory, you have this array that has a name called names, and it hold, it's holding three things, these three strings. And we want to loop through this array. So to loop through it, I'm just going to cancel this now. And the way to loop through arrays, the easiest way is to do, is to do a for next loop. And remember, for next loops, um, they need a counter variable, so let's declare a counter variable, dim i as integer. And now we can use i as the counter variable in our for next loop. So I'll do for i equal to zero, we initialize i to zero. Two, now here's where you want to know when should you stop looping through this array. Well, we want to stop looping through the array when we get to this element. Oops. This element here, names2, is equal to George. So it would be good to stop when the index is 2. And by the way, this counter variable is going to be used as the index, as the variable that will change each time the loop, through the loop. And it's going to begin at 0 because we want to start here at name0. And then the, the for next loop will increment i by 1. And then the next time through the loop, it'll be one so we're using this i variable as a placeholder for the index in the array and we know it starts at zero that's easy but now to find how how are we going to know that the last index of the array is two you can use a u bound function and the u bound function will return the value two if you give it the a name of an array so we give it the name of our array is names and then you give it the dimension you want the u bound for so remember in the first, in the introduction video about arrays, arrays can have different dimensions. They can be one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional or four or five. Most times in VBA, you're only going to use one or two dimensional arrays. In this case, this is a one dimensional array. So we want to know the upper bound on the first dimension. So this function takes a couple of parameters, the name of the array and then the, the dimension you want and we want the first dimension because this is a one dimensional array and then you put next i so there's our for loop so this is a loop that will loop through the array 
It's going to loop through the array. And what do we want to do with this, this loop? Well, we want to print it to the worksheet. So I'm going to go over to the workbook here and take a look at my worksheet. I have a worksheet here called Arrays, and I just want to print the array starting in uh, cell 1, 1, row 1, column 1. And so to do that, I can do something like this, cells. Now, row the row variable, I'm going to put it in, in rows. Uh, I'm going to put the array down column 1 and increment the row. So to do that, I could use i. But I'll just do i plus 1 because i is initially going to be 0. So I'll use this uh, cells uh, this cells property here. And I'll do cells i plus 1 is the row. And then column is going to be 1. Dot value is equal to names i. So. Let's uh, step through this and see what's happening here. If I minimize this and move this over, I want to put the array, the first element in the array in cell A1, and then the second element in A2, and the third element in A3. So to do that, let's uh, step through this. If I put a breakpoint there and I hit Run, Here's my array in memory right now. You know, I populated the array like we saw before. And now I'm using this loop where i is going to be 0 and you can see i is 0. And if I if I step into it um <clears throat> the u bound here is going to be 2 because it's going to return uh 2. It's the highest the highest index in the first dimension is 2. So it's going to loop from 0 to 2. And the first time through the loop, name 0 is equal to Bob. And this sells i plus 1. Because i is 0, it just sells 1 comma 1 dot value. And there you can see Bob was put in cells 1 comma 1. And now if I loop, keep looping, i goes to 1. i was in incremented to 1. And now. And now I'm, I'm back at this line of code here. So names 1 is equal to Mary. Names 1 is equal to Mary. And if and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So this is going to be row 2, column 1. And if I hit step in 2, then I have Mary in the second row of column 1. And then if I keep stepping through, there's George. So that, that's all I wanted to show you in this video is that you can populate an array and you could do things with it. You can loop through it specifically. Looping through through arrays is really important because if you're going to use an array, you're going to want to be able to access the elements in the array. And a lot of times you're going to want to loop, loop through that array and do something. And how you do that, the most important part of this video, is with a for next loop like we just did and use this uBound uh, function. To show you what that uBound function returns, I'll just do message box. And then I'll do uBound equals uBound of names. No, I'll just do this. I'll just do uBound names comma 1 equals and then uBound names comma 1. And I need an ampersand here because I'm, I'm taking some text and I'm appending it to... Uh, the number here. So I just want to show you what this U bound is. So you don't need to write this text. I could I could delete that. I just want to show you what I just want to show you what this is. This is the upper bound of the array in a message box. And there you can see U bound names comma one. The first dimension of this array names it has an upper bound equal to two. And remember the upper bound is just the highest index in that dimension, in a dimension. So this is very straightforward. You want to loop through an array. I'll just step into it one last time. If you want to loop through an array, you're going to want to loop through the array and iterate through its indices. 
the, you want to start at uh, the first index, 0, and then you want to go to the next index of 1, and then on to 2. And it's easy to know where you're going to start because the index always starts at 0. But when you do arrays, maybe sometimes you're not going to know where you're going to end. And we'll get into dynamic arrays in another video, but there are there are times when you might not know when you're gonna when you're gonna end looping because you don't know how big your array was. And this allows this allows you to know how big your array is, U bound. And it takes two parameters, this function, U bound. It takes the, the array, so you pass in the name of the array, and then you pass in the dimension of the array that you want to get the highest index in that dimension. And once you do that, you just do a 4 next loop, and there you go. You can loop through an array. In the next video, uh, we will learn how to populate an array from the worksheet. Because sometimes you're going to need to do that. You're going to need to grab data from a worksheet and put it into an array. So we'll do that next.